Hey everybody, welcome to the middle of nowhere. Early in 2020, EKWB released their magnitude line of quantum CP water blocks. EK describes the block as the new ultimate bespoke CP water block that brings the highest cooling performance with the lowest possible flow restriction. EK has two versions of the magnitude block, each specific to Intel and AMD CPUs, as the cold plates are machined with two precise curvatures, allowing for the best physical contact with every CPU IHS. The available blocks are compatible with Intel's LGA115X, 1200, and 20XX socket CPUs, as well as AMD's AM4 CPUs. As with EK's Velocity and Classic lines, there are a variety of CPU block styles to choose from in the Magnitude line, including Full Nickel, Nickel Plus Acetal, and Nickel Plus Plexi if you want to see the fluid flowing. Nickel refers to the interchangeable accent piece, and Nickel, Acetal, or Plexi refers to the covered type. Almost all magnitude CPU blocks come with or without integrated DRGB lighting, and if you go without, you'll save some money. Another feature of the magnitude line is this ability to customize. Taking a cue from their own torque fittings where you can add colored accent rings, you can buy an accent piece for your magnitude block, and there are a variety of colors from which you can choose. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem you can buy the block with a different accent out of the gate, as the nickel accent is included on every block by default. Finally, you can also buy a flat cold plate in nickel or copper. You might want to do this should you lap or flatten your CPU's IHS, or if you replace the stock IHS with a flatter aftermarket solution. So now that we've gone over the basics of the magnitude block, what's in the box? You will get an EK Quantum Magnitude water block, specific to Intel or AMD, so be sure you buy the correct one mounting hardware with all necessary springs, screws, and washers, an AMD or Intel compatible backplate, an additional jet plate, thermal grizzly hydronaut thermal paste, and an Allen key to be able to unscrew and screw in the mounting mechanism as well as take apart the block. One of the standout pieces included with the block is that extra jet plate. If you find your CPU to be a bit too concave and there's not enough contact, the extra, thicker jet plate will push the cold plate out 0.1 millimeters to help improve contact and thus better cool your CPU. EK boldly claims the magnitude blocks are built to fit you, and they are to an extent. Hence the bespoke descriptor. The magnitude CPU block is custom not just for the CPU you use, but also for the aesthetics of your PC build. However, this claim can only travel so far, and it is limited by the block styles and accessories EK creates and sells. For something meant to be bespoke, I feel EK missed the designation on a few points. First, you can't choose the accent plate color when purchasing the block. Instead, you have to spend an additional 30 bucks on top of an already expensive CPU block to get an accent piece fit for you. Second, all of the magnitude blocks should come in RGB and non-RGB variants. Not doing so again limits choice. Finally, customers should be allowed to choose the color of the aluminum piece you screw into your motherboard. Some blocks have silver and others black, and you can't choose between the two. This is a missed opportunity on two points. First, if you call something bespoke and then limit the options, it's not really bespoke. People should be able to choose between the available silver or black aluminum pieces. Secondly, EK should have created the same variety of colors for the aluminum piece as available to the accent piece. This way, customers could mix and match colors between the two pieces. For instance, a green accent and a purple aluminum piece would be awesome to put in a Joker-themed build. Having said all that, I don't think the lack of customization options should be considered a total deal breaker. After all, the real goal is to cool your CPU, and if the magnitude block can do that exceptionally well compared to other blocks on the market, including EK's own less expensive Velocity and Classic blocks, the price might well be worth it. And that's all I have to say about EKWB's Quantum Magnitude CPU Water Block. The price for these blocks starts at $209.99 going all the way up to $269.99. However, they go on sale frequently, so keep an eye out. If it's still too expensive for your budget, consider EK's less expensive Velocity and Classic lines, and don't forget to look at other brands like Bitspower, Alphacool, or Corsair. But what do you think? Is EK's Magnitude Block worth the price of entry, or is the price a bit too steep? Are the accessories something you would buy? If you own a magnitude block, how's your experience been? Thanks for watching everybody. Share any questions or comments you have down below, and if you enjoyed the video, smash that like button. If you like what you saw and you want to see more, support the channel by clicking subscribe, and don't forget to click the notification icon so you don't miss out on any new content. I'm Seth, and I'll see you next time in the middle of nowhere.